a brand new NBA season, a fresh start to my NBA career, and I already have fans lining up to buy my merchandise. Think of that, an NBA rookie already got so many people headed to the mall having it packed just for my merchandise from adults all the way down to the kids. Families going in bunches just to get my merchandise. And as a rookie, you couldn't ask for anything better. So with all the support behind me from the fans, it's only right that I give back to them by producing on the court by bringing in some wins. It's time to show the world just what yours truly can do on the NBA stage. Hello sports fans and thank you for tuning in to a brand new season of NBA basketball here on ESPN. I'm your host yours truly and today we're going to be watching the San Antonio Spurs hosting the Los Angeles Lakers and King James looking to bring on win number four to their record. This is going to be a good matchup. You know LeBron James and DeMar DeRozan no more Kawhi Leonard. So this is definitely going to be interesting to see how the Spurs fare out in this NBA season but with the tip set to get underway. And there's the jump ball. The Lakers will have it. And it's NBA basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into it. King James dribbling up the ball, orchestrating the offense for the Lakers. Slow start for the Lakers. They're down by six and truly with the ball. Number one draft pick in the 2018 draft class. He's trying to make something happen with the high layup. And he's going to get it to go. His first basket of the night. And I know Lakers fans everywhere has to be excited about the new addition of LeBron James and how this season's going to pan out. I mean, with LeBron on the team, it's win now mode. No more rebuilding for the Lakers as LeBron throws down the slam. When LeBron is on your team, you have to win now. How are these players going to adjust to that? But then when you take a look at this L.A. roster, they just have so much young talent. And with the addition of some veterans and a star player such as LeBron, that's exactly what you need. It is truly just getting his way inside, going straight through Manu Ginobili. Tightly contested game so far as Bellinelli with the step back, not going to fall. And Lonzo with the outlet to LeBron. There's no stopping that freight train, dishing it off to truly fouled. And the shot is not going to fall. He's going to get a chance for two at the line. And then if you just take a look at the Spurs management, they hate to see the Lakers get somebody like LeBron James. These two rival teams, they don't want to see each other succeed. So when, you know, the Spurs lose Kawhi and the Lakers gain LeBron, that, that hurts, especially Greg Popovich. And the Lakers starting to pull away here. They're up by six. Truly with the ball, trying to make something happen. Hop step, the jump shot, dishing it off to Kuzma, and he's going to finish strong. He's got 16. And the Lakers trust truly in crunch time. He's looking to make something happen. Very adept at getting to the basket, making his defender turn around. He's all over the place, got him on a spin cycle, and he's getting to the basket and finishing strong. Just... Look how he does holiday. I mean, oh my goodness. You got to watch out for this rookie. He's something special. And it looks like the Lakers are going to go ahead and extend their record to 4-2 and two as they take the game 103-96. to Hard fought game here, ladies and gentlemen. And I think one player that we have to, you know, shout out in contribution to this win is yours truly. 22 points. I mean, he's just making it happen. But that's going to do it on our end. We're going to send it over to the guys in the studio. Thank you so much for tuning into this game. I'll see you guys in the next one. I let my nuts hang, stupid.